CTV News at 5 with Hudson Mack. Good evening, Hudson Mack is away tonight. I'm Joe Perkins. Premier Christy Clark closed out the Union of BC Municipalities Convention in Victoria with a bang today. Clark had the crowd of mayors and councillors cheering. She announced a tentative contract agreement for uh, government employees. She unveiled major infrastructure spending around the province and she took a hard line on the Northern Gateway Pipeline. CTV's Louise Hartland has our top story. Premier Christy Clark is all smiles, taking to the stage at the Union of BC Municipalities Convention in Victoria. And by all accounts, her keynote address does not disappoint. Today I'm announcing a total of $207 million for projects that we can get started this year. New investments in schools, in roads, hospitals, housing projects and more. Including plans for schools on Vancouver Island. Improving K-12 public schools in communities of Nanaimo, Campbell River, Houston, Surrey, Richmond, Maple Ridge, Mission and West Vancouver. Clark says the $207 million came from government belt tightening. Major infrastructure projects are a large part of today's announcement. Over the next decade, plans include completion of the four-lane Trans-Canada Highway from Kamloops to the Alberta border and replacing the George Massey Tunnel south of Vancouver. But the news that packed the biggest punch of the Premier's speech... Late yesterday, we also reached an agreement with the BCGEU representing 26,000 direct government employees. Uh, and it wasn't wasn't easy, but we knew that the prize was an agreement for our members that was fair and reasonable, and the prize for the other side was the people of British Columbia deserve the services we provided, and uh, all along the way we wanted to make sure that uh, we could continue to provide those services. The B.C. Government Employees Union has been without a contract since March 31st. The union says the tentative deal means a 4% wage increase over two years, slightly more than the union says it was offered before it took strike action. We didn't give up anything to get wage increase, we're working with the government around cooperative gain. The deal also stops plans to privatize the liquor distribution branch. Union members will vote on it in the coming weeks. The NDP's a, finance critic says the deal with the BCGEU is good news, but long-term infrastructure plans are empty promises. They're not goodies. There's, there's no substance to it. I mean, if you say we're going to start talking about replacing the Massey Tunnel, many people would welcome that, but it's not an announcement in the sense that there's any money uh, behind it. It's so far distant in the future. Still, the Premier and her remaining MLAs likely hope if they dangle enough carrots, voters will bite next May. CTV's Louise Hartland joins us now live with more on this story. Louise, uh, the Premier also spoke about the Northern Gateway Pipeline project in her keynote address. What can you tell us about that? That's right, Joe. Christy Clark says she is heading to Alberta to meet with Premier Allison Redford on Monday. Clark says she wants to send a strong message to Albertans. She feels media in that province is portraying BC as money hungry, and that is why the province is not signing on to the proposed Enbridge project. Christy Clark told the delegation the number one issue of concern for any pipeline expansions in BC is protecting our environment. British Columbia has set five requirements for Alberta. The province says they must be met before it will even consider supporting the Enbridge proposal. Louise, thank you. You're welcome.